Hey guys, let's get more news about Warriors, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Stephen Curry, Warriors make crazy history in 137-point explosion versus Grizzlies. The Golden State Warriors entered their Wednesday night battle against the Memphis Grizzlies looking to get back on track after a disappointing loss to the shorthanded New York Knicks on Monday. The Warriors, from the get-go, looked motivated, shooting the lights out in hopes of returning to winning ways. That was exactly what they did, shooting 58% from the field en route to a 137-116 blowout victory. The Warriors had three players score above 20 points, and Stephen Curry was not one of them, and for most of the night, they reached some sort of flow state shooting-wise that allowed them to make history. Of the 137 points they put up against the Grizzlies, 135 came as a result of a field goal, they made 58 out of 100 field goals, 39 two-pointers, 19 three-pointers, in doing so, they managed to set the record for most points in a single game for any team that made just two free throws as a team, as pointed out by Reddit user Edwas. One would think that the Warriors simply could not miss from the perimeter, given their aversion to free throws on the night. However, the threat of their outside shot opened up a lot of opportunities in the paint, they finished the contest with 62 points in the shaded area, putting together an all-around demolition of the Grizzlies. It was a bit surprising to see the Warriors pop off for 137 points on 58 made field goals without a stellar outing from Stephen Curry but Curry mostly took a back seat to the likes of Jonathan Kaminga, Andrew Wiggins, and Clay Thompson, the three of whom combined for 71 points. Nonetheless, Curry still made four of his seven triples, five to nine overall from the field, en route to a quiet 14-point night. In nailing four attempts from deep, the Warrior star now has 301 total on the season. As a result, Curry now has five seasons with 300 or more made three-pointers, accounting for 71%, five out of seven, of such seasons, as per Anthony Slater of The Athletic. Only Stephen Curry's fellow splash brother, Clay Thompson, 2022-23, and James Harden, 2018-19, have crossed the 303's mark in a single campaign. This latest feat is yet another reminder that Curry is the greatest shooter of all time, and it's not particularly close given how much defensive attention he draws on a nightly basis. There have been a few instances wherein the Warriors have felt hard done by the officials after facing free-throw deficits on a near-nightly basis. Back in the second round of the 2023 playoffs, the Warriors were upset that the Los Angeles Lakers were dwarfing their number of attempts from the charity stripe, and this latest contest against the Grizzlies might be an indication of what is to come. The Warriors, if the season were to end today, are set to face the Lakers in the play-in tournament, their difficulty in manufacturing easy buckets from the charity stripe may end up being an uphill battle they can't climb over. Alas, in a single game, the Warriors are as big of a threat as any to pop off from beyond the arc, rendering the free-throw disparity moot. They have also won two of three contests against the Lakers this season, so their lack of free-throw attempts should not be too concerning in the long run, for as long as the shooters show up in support of Stephen Curry. LeBron James responds to Draymond Green's comments on his new podcast. When the debut episode of LeBron James and J.J. Reddick's podcast, Mind the Game, was released earlier this week, the reactions came from all directions. After all, for any NBA fan, whether they love or hate LeBron James, it's impossible not to listen when he speaks. One noteworthy reaction came from Golden State Warriors forward Draymond Green. Green's response wasn't a criticism of the show at all. Instead, he had a playful jab at James for not appearing on the Draymond Green show yet. I must say I am a little upset that LeBron James is like, going on the podcast and he still hasn't been on the Draymond Green show, Green said. But when it's your own thing, you kinda can't say anything, so I guess I'll live with it for now. Pick the bone with him that I got to pick with him later. Fortunately for Green, the Los Angeles Lakers star and future Hall of Famer made it known that he will join his podcast. 
After Green's comment was posted on SportsCenter's Instagram account, James responded to clear the air while laughing off the comment from his NBA counterpart and close friend. Green can rest easy because even though James and Reddick have teamed up for their own podcast, he still fully plans to make time for a media stop with the longtime warrior. Paul Pierce argues that Stephen Curry's influence is greater than LeBron James and Michael Jordan. In a guest appearance on Undisputed this week, Celtics legend Paul Pierce explained why Stephen Curry is the most influential player in NBA history. Pierce says his influence on the game is unparalleled to anything else we've seen and it's evident during every regular season game. Since Steph's influence on the NBA, there's been more 20-point comebacks because teams are shooting the ball more from three, said Pierce. They're trapping players, they're signing bigs who can shoot the three. Steph Curry's influence on the game has been greater than LeBron James, Michael Jordan, and Kobe Bryant. I watched the Celtics game last night and their first 10 shots were three-pointers. Everybody thinks they can be Steph. The kids now around America believe they can be Steph. They know they can't be Jordan or LeBron or Kobe. People often that Michael Jordan is the NBA's most influential player ever just based on what he did for the sport, the culture, and the league itself. There was a stretch in the late 90s when he was among the most popular people on the planet. Today, while Steph Curry may not be as beloved as Jordan was, it's hard to argue that he didn't change things at a level that nobody else has. During the Warriors' first breakout season in 2014-15, it was Steph who led the way for them and his mastery of long-distance shooting, and it exposed the entire league to how dangerous the three-pointer could be when utilized to maximum efficiency. Today, for titles and two MVPs later, Curry set the stage for what has become a three-point revolution. The shot is not just popular in the league today, it's necessary for survival by any player who wants to enjoy a long and prosperous career. It's Steph who made things the way they are, and whether you love him or hate him, you have to acknowledge how special his run has been. Stephen Curry is just one of many NBA superstars who have left their mark on the game, but Steph's resume and his impact on the game itself puts him in special company as one of the all-time greats. In 14 seasons so far, Curry is averaging 24.8 points, 6.4 assists, and 4.7 rebounds per game on 47.3% shooting. He's a 4x champion, 2x MVP, 10x All-Star, and 9x All-NBA player. This season marks his 15th with the Warriors, and while Golden State is only 10th in the West, Steph's presence gives them a chance against anyone. Recently, Curry has found himself mixed up in all kinds of goat talk, including from his fellow peers who have had a lot of good things to say. Over the past few years, both Draymond Green and Kevin Durant have tagged Curry as the greatest point guard ever and nobody can say he doesn't at least belong in the conversation. Without Steph, the NBA wouldn't be what it is today and the game might resemble something completely unrecognizable from the modern product. But no matter your thoughts on the new NBA, this is a product of Steph's doing and very few players have ever reached that level of influence. And you, fan, what do you think of the situation, Paul Pierce? Leave your opinion in the comments.